the yes. <laughs> hot men. <laughs> I definitely heard hot men. I said it. I don't hot deny that I said it. I don't deny I said it. I yeah. fucking Oh my god. Yes, man. Tell me you listened to the show. Okay, listen, there was one moment that it was not clear whether or not somebody <laughs> said, uh, uh, I don't even remember what the non hot top, men. Top, top men. men. Okay, all right. You heard that part though, right? Yes. Okay. Um, but you could understand how someone, they, they're they kind of phonetically similar. They have assonance. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Only the hottest top men. Oh hot my god. Men. Hard men. <laughs> Someone says hot men have ass. <laughs> Assonance. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at uh, nightattack.showbot.tv, BioCow's awesome tool, and uh, pick uh, pick an episode title that we might use for the name of the podcast that we just recorded, including Brushwood Family Heist. Oh, that's pretty good. Go. Let's click on that. The key to the story. Hot men are working Hot on it. Hot men are working on it. <laughs> Hot men are working on it is like quite possibly a, 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 a replacement for the name of this show. <laughs> Hot men are working like, on it. I, 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 I'm just saying that if we held a plebiscite for a change of night attack to hot men are working on it, it would receive votes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Shouts out to Josh, I guess, because uh, to, to Cheeto, because I think that makes him the hot man. Uh, <laughs> by the way, that happy hour just dropped uh, moments ago. So uh, the uh, November... Yeah. Ninth. The hot men are done. Yeah, the so, hot so, men have so, finished. Uh, if, the if hot anybody was accusing you of, of being a liar, uh, the <laughs> hot men are dug. We've also got hot top men. Hey, the hot crime men boss. are dug. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, I didn't say dug. I said yeah. I said they're done. I I don't know what I, you're talking. We need what? Third, Did we need he say dug? <laughs> what? All I can imagine is that like all all the hot men getting a podcast done of just like just like like. A fucking himbo, like as <laughs> as the producer, and he's oh. just like, okay, like checking the sound, like working really hard on the computer, only with his two fingers, like, and then just inside the computer shoveling bits, like. <laughs> hot men are working hot on men it. Are working. Man, uh, unfortunately, it's not perfectly. I mean, it was a great side jag, but there's so much maple syrup really tickles me. Oh, that's uh, pretty good. Yeah, that's it's pretty good. out there, though. Um, let's see. We're showing up with a key, and it has two arms that are eight feet long. <laughs> I mean, that one deserves an upvote, even though it's way too long to be a title. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. The Boss Hay. Three storage doors down. Oh, my God. I, I swear. Like, like, I was making a bit on the phone to Gordon about, like, like I'm really annoyed that my dad is not in the right hand lane because I know we have to turn right, and then he turned wrong, and then and after all that, and then to get to that point and realize we're about to do a crime, and my dad goes, says, "Pretty sure it's this one," and then for yeah. us to argue about it, like it's like 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 it's a a, a, a pulp fiction bit, uh, and then and then it's like, ah, oh, I mean we're here, it's like let's do this, it's like ah, oh. mm. fucking ridiculous, that's so insane. Uh, I played with your estate, the Jurassic period. Dance Dance Rib Tips. That's more of a pre show thing. It's not, it's also not what I said. So fuck you <laughs> for anybody said who rib wrote tips that last episode. I said so I tips. Know. It said tips. You know, I see so, you. Like, I see you. I mean, I, there's a certain amount of journalistic ethics that I see you puts into those. And he put a little okay. P on those. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. That's, you know, that's a fun thing for I see you. you know? <laughs> 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 a funny thing for that guy. Real funny times. We've got, uh, I don't know, a felony, Brushwood family felony he had keys oh i mean you, you can't you can't tip no, that can't. bit uh, no no you can't no. tip that bit <laughs> son of a bitch. Come, come on, he's clearly... i'm not using it correctly i'm trying to clearly <laughs> my hot men are working on hot, hot, hot men hot oh, men no, I said to... <laughs> dog <laughs> let's see um, Mike's 176th <laughs> birthday. Yeah, pretty good. Rib tips and hot men. That's like, every episode. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't name it. If I don't call you back in 30 minutes, it means I'm in jail. Yeah, literal thing to happen. Brian admits to a crime on the internet. I think hey, before uh, attempted crime. 
Pretty sure it's that one is pretty good. I think I can click that one. That, uh, yeah, yeah, click on that. Pretty sure it's that one is actually a great fucking title. Uh, cutting through the red tape. Totally wrong unit. Almost felony. Let's see. Scroll. We got a little scrolling action here. Crazy cat lady. White girl is high. Laugh is shady. Laugh is shady. That's how the song goes. That's right. Um, <laughs> fuck, fuck your, your intro. intro. It's ripped. Ripped. Finally. <laughs> finally. 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 JL Anderson Media. Again. Again. Every episode. This could be every episode. Brave. So you can't brave, do it. You brave. Brave and it. strong. Brave and strong. What a beautiful <laughs> message. Hot tip. You should hot all tip, tell hot you. Tips. You can't vote that one up. I think I that should. should be the title. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. Brushwoods 2. <laughs> what? Like Ocean's 11. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Click, click. That was really good. Our whole plan is like, like you hear you hear some uh, early odds techno music is like, here's the plan. We walk up and I don't know, guess which one, <laughs> and then we yeah. break it open. That sounds great. Yeah. What? Exactly. Also, yeah, so like, we got, find out if this is the like, real there's place. Like blue, there's like blueprints. It's like, all right, we'll be right here. We walk in. Breaks down like this. All right. <laughs> we drive up in cars. Yeah. <laughs> you enter the code that you've already learned that goes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's like, all right, here's the scheme. Uh, we both drive up. You in front of me. You make the wrong turn. I also make the wrong turn. We then discuss. We make our way to the facility. You pass by the person that you just talked to. We walk into the facility. You have no idea which one it actually is. I don't have the correct tools to cut any of the locks. You guess which one is going to be cut. I argue with you. You go back to the front to ask which one it actually is. Get the information and come back. Now, I still don't have the, the tools to cut any of the locks, at which point you reveal that you've had the keys the entire time. I, actually, what that you would... didn't know is that I had a friend from high school I was talking to the entire time. That actually, actually, that would be a really fun little short. You could literally, you could literally shoot that whole thing and do it exactly like, and then Brushwoods too. You know, like, like that would you could totally do just like, exactly get, that. You mean, might be able to hire the two of us. Yeah, to yeah, do exactly. <laughs> this. Oh. There we go. Thank you to uh, our hell of a pitch at... meeting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking yeah. 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 I'm green light. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like that's amazing. I mean, I tell you what. Nine episodes on HBO Max. They fucking give them away these days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, oh. 1543 Columbus sailed around a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Math is done in 4 3 time, of course. Yeah, forgot that it's 3 Eight, 4. Base 4 3, I'm sure. 4 3 <laughs> is time. The crustacean period. <laughs> that's pretty good. Which I don't think that's even the right way to spell crustacean. You said the Cretaceous, but Fuck everybody, it. including Fuck you, it. you I, called I, it the crustacean. I was you reading it, I was looking right at it. <laughs> Bryce, when it comes to the spelling, we got hot men on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so some of the top ones here, hot men are working on it. Brushwood Family Heist. Oh, my God. There's so um, much people so I up. feel like Brushwood Family Heist pays off That's the immediately, way right? That's the way Although I do yeah, like yeah, hot yeah. men are working on it a lot. We but... can, we'll put that in the notes there. Brushwood. Oh. Family heist. All right. Thank you to Orthodox. Just make sure that the first words in the notes are just in all caps. Hot men are working on it. <laughs> uh, sure. The story of the Brushwood family heist. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we could. Okay. Uh, and I work oh, goodness. Uh, okay. And then. Okay, great. Uh, well, thank you to Spiderbite and everyone who's sending in show titles using the bang command. I'm going to write an email and try to compose myself oh. again. <laughs> I'm going to go out and... Uh, went, 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 can, uh, can that wait 60 I, I, seconds? Well, no. I oh, went, okay. uh, no, yeah, Yes, I can. But Thank you. I want to go out and chase that feral cat. I guarantee you that feral cat's just sitting in There's a cat in, your, right in your Jeep, huh? Uh, yeah. 
Yo, this cat. This Trying cat. to chase this, that pussy away. Is it a male cat or a female cat? Boo, pussy, get uh, out of here. So I was confused because there was some talk about whether it was a male or female cat. There's no, but there's no, there's been, been no peeing. There's been no marking, right? I don't know about that, but but uh, I was Have confused. Have you been in Brian's Jeep? <laughs> like, who could know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. The, the extra okay, right. E's stand for pee. <laughs> um, the uh, 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 no, I didn't know this, but apparently it's a thing that if somebody manages to wrangle a feral cat and uh, 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 spare neuter it or, or uh, neuter it, then they'll they'll dock its ear. They'll they'll mm. like just cut a chunk out. Uh, then that way everybody knows that it, yeah. that cat's not going to make like like that cat merely existing is keeping other cats from occupying that territory. Sure, sure. So. Sure. Uh, uh, and so and, and that this that, this that cat does have a dock here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah, yeah. Didn't know. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, because that that's oof. cat urine, like male cat urine, oh, is is an anathema to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the worst. Uh, we had a cat. I was living with my with my with my ex Sarah, and uh, uh, back years ago, and the, and there was a there was a feral tom cat in the neighborhood that would constantly because he smelled our cat inside would mark our front door and and the back window. I would wake up in the like I would wake up in the middle of the night Gagging. smelling this fucking awful oh. like oh, like and yeah and 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 I so I what I eventually ended up doing is I just took chili pepper it was chili powder um what else was it Cyanide. like like yeah no yeah it was it was it was, uh, it was, it was just all poison. the evil it was all the evil things I could possibly think of, like like yeah. ammonia and shit and I just created this concoction and put it on both ends and then and then never saw the cat again I was like that's right motherfucker yeah, suck yeah. it science. <laughs> <laughs> And it only Science. took 160 years for him to figure it out. Yeah, 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 the, cat, the cat uh, only went on to uh, uh, four more presidential terms. <laughs> Denying yeah. science. President Cat. Time. President Cat, man. <laughs> Fucking controversial yeah. term. Controversial, man. People <sighs> kept yelling at me, why don't you denounce President Cat? And I'm like, I gotta give him a shot. Hey. Um, you know, it's just what Pantaloni does. Pantaloni. Jesus. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, hold on. Is this broke, breaking 911 tweet real? Yeah, almost certainly not. Um, what? I don't you want to read it out loud? Well, or says, are you too a... ashamed? Wait, me? Well, yeah, I don't know. Because I don't know what it says. Oh, so I have sorry. no idea. What it says, uh, sorry. Somebody in the chat says, uh, you must stop everything and have us examine this thing. And then I'm looking at the tweet now. It says, breaking 911. It says, watch Fox News. Laura Ingram interviews anonymous poll worker complete with disguised voice. Um, all I see right now is um, <laughs> somebody in shadow and somebody, uh, in, you know, is somebody who is Laura Ingram. Uh, but, but I Also, assume- breaking 911. I assume that that's is, what I, I don't know is if it's a novelty account or a real thing. Or I, it's whatever. a real one, but they their sourcing is not very good at all. There are other accounts that say fucking breaking news, 911, that are like verified because actual newsrooms are running them. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is a clip from Fox News, so I don't think it's it's probably not crazy fake. I mean, Meryl sent this in. I, Meryl, are you here, going to justify I, this? Here's what I assume. We will. Uh, f- uh, f- uh, first of all, Meryl. Um, Congratulations, you've earned enough trust that we're going to play this and we're going to give it the full attention that you demanded it deserved. Know that while we're judging this clip, we're judging you. We're, we're really also judging, judging you. you. <laughs> Let's begin. All right, here we go. This is from at Breaking 911 Watch. Fox News' Laura Ingram interviews anonymous poll worker complete with disguised voice. With the shocking details. Now, we're going to be concealing her identity, even disguising her voice over her own safety concerns. Uh, Thank you for joining us. Um, You saw something suspicious, we're gonna get right into it tonight, happening on the side of a Biden-Harris van in the parking lot of the polling station. Now walk the audience through what happened. I went out to go for a walk. (laughs) Oh, she likes almond milk. I probably had a uh, 150, 175 foot stretch where I was walking, the the Biden van was parked along this stretch, and I was walking to it, so about 150 feet, I was walking, and I could see these people hand over what appeared to be white envelopes, just hand over onto this table, and as I got closer, the envelopes were being torn open. There were two men, or two people dropping the envelopes, and two people ripping them open and turning and facing the van, and 
drawing on them or marking them. And as I got closer, you know, as I was walking, they would put things down. And pause, the pause it real quick, hey. Bryce, and put just the two of us on screen. Um, yeah, because we 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 three we three wise men really need to break break this down yeah yeah no, and, i mean i mean just 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 uh uh maybe just me uh, and it, you know just for right now it might just be you because some of us uh well um um so um <clears throat> uh i mean that's breaking that's that's groundbreaking news yeah uh, like a sure, white obviously. envelope being torn open can't, uh, can't believe that it nobody saw um whenever you feel like pressing play on on the remainder of the clip uh, we got to the point where there was a van had the word no, it was biden. a biden van it was a, it biden, was a biden van yeah, yeah, yeah. Biden van. just yeah. just yeah um, okay uh, uh, yeah so whenever whenever you want to hit play i do have to, i do have to say i do have oh, to say that was pretty play. crafty that was pretty crafty reverse thinking on the people perpetrating this and they're like no one's going to assume that we're democrats doing this if we got a biden van right yeah because they would assume that no one's gonna be stupid right, enough let's, yeah. let's listen okay. to the rest of it click I was in the Biden van. I don't. I. I think you got the echo, but maybe not the pitch shift. Wait, I was. I was in the Biden let's van. Let's put a little more. Let's put a little more pitch shift and a little less wait, dry on that. About, put a little more wet uh, on that. Why don't we? Wait a minute. Here we go. Here we turn go. off your normal mic. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Hey, that's it. That's it. Is it it? I was in a party man. I was in a What are you drinking? <laughs> Suddenly I'm interviewing. <laughs> I could ever get my hands upon Me too. <laughs> for a magic spell that caused any bad comments to sound exactly like this. <laughs> How did you get this number, Laura Ingram? Laura Ingram. Now we're making her the best. The <laughs> Justin, did you hear that shit? I don't know, man. That shit was fucked up. That's some crazy the, shit. The, oh, the fucking about... worst part about it was uh, not being able to figure out how to do the fucking. It went great. It it went great. Everyone, uh, uh, everyone, alert. everyone, everyone thinks. Everyone thinks that. Yeah, the, it's hard. Yeah. It's difficult it's out hard. here. Turns out it's it's hard out here for a pimp. I mean, you know why it's hard is because all the hot men are working. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's no! the problem. No! No! Just, you're trying to get just the tip. You're trying just to get the a tip. <laughs> <laughs> if we actually had good merch, man, we like I swear to God, we could actually make this a real living. <laughs> Like Someone, we actually I'm gonna write this down. Oh. Hot men are working and just the tip. Like that's come on. Oh. That's at least that's at least fifty dollars. <laughs> um. Write this in Discord so I don't forget. There you go. Oh my goodness gracious! Well, thank you, Meryl, for that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, you live to fight another thumbs day. Thumbs up. Thumbs up to that, Meryl. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness! Meryl gracious. Ru runs off with his one dock tear and a wink as he vanishes <laughs> to sleep in the forest, saying, "I'll be back in your kitchen soon." 
<laughs> I, think, I, I think history told us he'll be in your Jeep pretty the, soon. Yeah, the next the next time you see Merrill and he's got his he's got his chipped ear. And he's just like mm, oh. Have you seen Harley Quinn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I see I believe it was ICU did I don't know if this is a real mock up or what. <laughs> But did did make a mock up of the little Mike, spaceman. All right, we gotta Mike, get, we gotta get a this? tea spring. We're we're just okay, getting a tea spring. We gotta real get quick, a tea spring. I see you send me this graphic. Hold on, send me this graphic. I see. Uh, uh, Mike TV is unfamiliar with the source material. Oh, uh, is there any chance that we can acquaint him with the I classic? I see you get him. Yeah, get it. We need to get this last week on. Just go to the the merman I... to be. <laughs> So the uh, 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 Mike, all you missed is that this was the la previously on, and there was some moment where we put Bryce on the spot to uh, we just gave him all of his own rope to hang himself, uh, and he did his best C three PO impression. Oh, that was yes. made much better by the graphics of this advanced wizardry. Yeah, that is including in including every one, way. you know, uh, uh, Mike, you know the classic. C three PO one liner, right. right? Yeah. What 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 if you were gonna give one line that in a C three PO voice, that would be what? Um you know what I actually I don't I, uh Well you um, worked with him. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> back in um yeah, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. But it was it was yeah. it was pretty quite quite a distance. So um Well you um, you want you, you, you wanna know what I, like, you don't need you don't yeah, need you don't to worry need it about because it whatever because it is, it's not you'll be able actual to see footage it right of here. the actual yeah. Star I mean, War. That's right. Yeah, okay. it, would always, it would always be for me to just be the R two. Yeah, if you're looking for it, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you play R2 yeah. in this scene? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So this is from the 346 episode of Meta. Can we get us the specifics on the job? Sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's the sound. Yeah. That's the sound of yeah. Bryce opening Bryce, a door and then he doesn't know Bryce, where it leads. Improv, Bryce. <laughs> improv, what'll he come up with now? Oh, May. Oh, my. Oh, hello. I'm the little Halloween man. Oh, you uh, littler spaceman. How could you? Don't say that about my mother. I, and we have to go save the day. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> and who would come first? <laughs> Me new. That's, awesome. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, wait, no, that's right. And then John does one. Hold on, hold on. Oh, me. Oh, me. Oh, me. Oh, me. John Cullen, a, a, a legend. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, yeah, I see. Send me, send me that link. Maybe we'll figure something out. Oh. Yeah, we got to do a Teespring. <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, like, we should have been doing this shit for fucking a decade at this point, but uh, we're going to get on the Teespring oh. revolution. Who gives a shit? Oh, my goodness. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, anybody need a break? Um, I, I just really want to go see if that cat's out there again. <laughs> Bear me. That cat enjoying that, that Jeep. Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it, while you're up, there's a vitamin water in the fridge. Can you bring it to me? Thank you. Uh, uh, can I can I say that I've I've gotten a secret DM? Ooh, ooh. Uh, ooh. That there are our friends, Auntie Donna. Okay, the Auntie, Auntie Donna, Donna boys has uh, been on a, a, a bit of a social media tour. They obviously in the next. Uh, a few hours are going to have their their show debut on Netflix. Big moment. Yeah. And I was cool. just notified that literally amongst everything that they are doing mm -hmm. on social media, nothing fucking moves the needle like when we mention them on this show awesome. right here. <laughs> like, so. Uh, seeing We're seeing the tweets now and they're great. Punch it. Punch it. Punch it. Everybody. At Netflix is a joke. Fucking, we are. Uh, 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 everybody is watching them. We gotta fucking let's let's make it. Let's let let's make the needle move for our our, our boys. We gotta get them uh, as, uh, as 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 rocking and rolling. Remember, as at Netflix is a joke. That's their comedy branding. Uh, we got some people who sent in some tweets about the number of keys that they believed that there were, including uh, Gyro said nine. Becky said at least a dozen. Uh, an, another account of Gyro said 69. Um, it's just a very funny number. 
Uh, Orthos says at least 14 keys. Uh, Sutter Kane said maybe 37. Very good. Uh, of course, the correct answer was three. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And a key fob. Uh, and a key fob. And a fob. It would be yeah. very funny if the key fob led to a car that had the storage unit pre-programmed in the GPS. I would love it if the key fob actually opened up that clanky ass U-Haul lock. Like, like literally, they just like it was just fucking one of those like just like it was like eh, and it's clicked and like opened. Like that would probably be the funniest way that it happened. Uh, we also got if, like if they're like they keep trying it and it's like none of these fucking things open it. Ah, they throw it at their eh, clank. <laughs> yeah, and it falls. Yeah, and it, and yeah. It just, yeah, yeah, and it just goes yeah. blank, clank, 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 clank. Uh, ben Franklin tweeting in. It's been years since I laughed so hard. Uh, I was in pain. That after show vocoder did it. So your vocoder skills are on point, Juice. Uh, yeah, Damn man. Right. Turns out just uh, 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 setting it up by uh, doing a shitty job for fucking Bill Meeks <laughs> a year ago uh, is, <laughs> is everything we need to set it up. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, this is crazy, man. So many crazy things crazy. Uh, over over the last like just just an emotional week, man. Mm. Uh, uh, on on so many fucking fronts. Like I don't know if I've talked about this publicly. But, um, like just the confluence of everything I'm setting up our like eight hour live stream for the election. And thankfully, because of how it wound up ending up, Brian calls me to tell me the news about Jay. Yeah, um, it was that day as I'm like setting up and I'm glad he fucking did because uh, I then read about it in the chat, right? So it's like I'd rather know what was coming and be able to steer the show than than not. But it's like, you know, you have all that, and like, you know, that that journey, at least for me, with the show has just been a a fucking year and a half, right, to get to where we were last week, um. And then everything that goes into to all 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 the news there, uh, just a lot, dude. Yeah. I mean, I'll mm -hmm. tell you what. Sometimes, sometimes fucking life is free and easy, and sometimes it is thick as fucking London fog. And and uh, uh, that that has certainly been the last week. Yeah. Uh, uh, what 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 did I tweet that we all found out? Uh, your brother? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah. No. I got. I oh got... no 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 no. I know. I was saying because yeah. I I I didn't said it publicly anywhere. Um. That like you called me about Jay knowingly knowing that I was like leading into the to to, to the night or to the live stream for the election, but also like I was saying I was fucking very glad you did because like then when you tweet about it and and it, and it's in the chat room, I'm fucking glad that like. That wasn't a fucking gut punch in 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 the middle of the show, show that I at least had whatever time to right. to fucking process uh, it. Like it's just it's fucking a confluence, baby. It's it's just crazy. Yeah. Uh, what I was thinking about in that moment was I thought about the difference between um, uh, uh, my high school of uh, early and late high school. I kind of first two years had one best friend, had a different best. Gordon was my best friend in the later years. Um, uh, in the first couple of years of, uh, my friend was John Hill and, um, uh, it was in the middle of Halloween Horror Nights one night I was, uh, 2008, I was getting ready to go and somebody sends me an email message offers, offering my condolences cause he heard about John Hill's suicide. And I'm oh, like, God. I'm like that, that don't sound right. John and I, we talk all the time on MSN chat. And so I open MSN chat and I go to type and it's like, Wait, what do you say? Like, are you dead? <laughs> like, 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 yeah. like, you don't know what to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, man, how are you? Please respond very quickly. <laughs> and then uh, nothing. And then uh, guess who's got to drive over to Universal Orlando, hop on stage at the Animal Actors oh, stage geez. and uh, do four shows. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that, that was the first time I went like um, <laughs> prison tat on my iPhone. Um, I just took like a staple and just scratched a bunch of graffiti on the back of my iPhone because it was back when they had the, the round plastic, uh, yep, backs yep. on the, like, I just, I just was, was like, yeah, fuck it. What does it matter? And, and what's funny is like, 
what is what does the angry magician decide to get for his prison tat as he processes the suicide of his best friend from high school um like crib notes for various martin gardner tricks <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like like the tic-tac-toe solution prediction and yeah. that, that stuff um yeah it's funny it's funny what you do in those those moments yeah i mean anyway so 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 uh, uh uh in that moment i thought uh that was an awful moment that i went through i would rather justin had the exact same awful moment than the awfulness of finding out midstream so yeah. i picked up the phone and called you that's that's what that boiled down no 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 and 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 ultimately it's like that was i mean uh, compared to where the moment happened during the stream uh knowing it I was able, knowing it was coming, I was able to give it like the breath, the beat, the moment, and and then the pivot forward. And at that point, the adrenaline was so high that it's like, okay, I just need to know when it comes. Like I I I had a process to do it, and there was enough adrenaline that we could always pivot to. And now to Florida, right? Like right. uh but um you know it's it's a uh, uh it's a lot you know th this kind of stuff isn't um you know grief is something where i think we always want to we always want to process it um in comparison to somebody else that like we shouldn't feel X or we should feel X. Like that's, that's always what you hear about. You always hear about like, well, I'm feeling too much or I'm feeling too little. Like I don't feel enough or, or I, I, I should feel more or I'm, you know, I, I feel ashamed that the other people aren't reacting in the same way I'm reacting when it's like all the shit is unknowable. The way that the, the way that grief hits us is not about the a tonnage. It's not like, Oh, X amount of cement just hit you and you should feel a certain way. Yeah. It's about where where you are inside and, and how everything and how everything hits you. And like uh uh that's um if there's one thing in especially in a moment like this, where obviously this is a family affair, not only for Brian, your actual family, but also our online family, mm -hmm. because Jay was so well known here and had so many connections, like there's you know, every day that we talk about him, there's people in the chat that are like telling us stories or telling me stories that I had never heard about him playing fucking Pathfinder and shit like that. And it's mm. like, uh, the only thing I would say is never be afraid to feel how you feel, especially in any kind of grief situation. Like your, your journey is your own. And if it's a big, loud one, it's a big, loud one. If it's a quiet one, it's a quiet one. Like that's, that's just, it is what it is, and it's beyond our control. Can can I tell you guys something curious? And and look, uh, for anyone going through any phase of the grief process, it's asynchronous from everyone else's experience. Um, I had a very curious moment. I've been really dreading, uh, as we talked about at the beginning of the show. You know, knowing that that I would have to come and be a physical part of of the the parsing and the cell uh, and the the settling of of his affairs. Um, um, this is more a yesterday discussion. We talked an awful lot about the, the, the pernicious nature of, um, addiction and, and how it confuses both the person who's in the middle of it and how everything is perceived, uh, as, as somebody's in, in that space. Um, and one of the things that happened when Jay went into a coma is, um, uh, you know, I, I think I went through the bulk of my heavy grieving at that moment. And in a strange way, it was as though, like, I mean, six weeks in a coma, not waking up. That's enough time for you to really do the heavy lifting and do the self-examination of, of asking yourself, what are all the things that I wish I could say? What are all the questions I wish I could ask? And as though it was a fairy tale wish granted in... Jay came back from the beyond and I got to say all the things and I got to awesome. ask all the questions and I got real answers, you know, and, uh, <clears throat> and, and, uh, uh, yeah, as, as, as addiction works, you know, there, uh, uh, things changed over time. Um, and 
having uh, uh, when 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 you when you are a loved one of somebody who's in the spiral in the grips of addiction, uh, you learn how to love somebody, but also draw boundaries, which is something that my parents had to do and I had to do, you know. And uh, uh, but <clears throat> uh, as much as I was dreading today, the the, the day that Jay's death goes from a theoretical thing that I was informed about a week ago to a physical thing that I'm going, I, 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 um, I realized I had never been to Jay's new apartment and, mm. or any of that stuff. Like weirdly, once I crossed, crossed the threshold, um, today is the most alive I've felt Jay in weeks because, uh, we, we, we don't, pause to notice, you know, I think I, I talked about this, you know, how you externalize your reality. Like it felt like Jay was around the corner. And most importantly, like that little nook, that little crevice of, of people, um, just first random person said hello and was friendly. And I was like, I'm Jay's brother. Did you happen to meet him? And there was almost this like, the fuck you talking about? We all, yeah. you know, we all knew him. We all yeah. loved him. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, always yeah. here. He is part of this. Yeah. And that and, was, and, and, and I like suddenly like, like, like a bolt, like, I don't know. He just felt more alive in that moment than I had experienced in a long time. But you know, it, It's really funny uh, because I know that, 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 that another aspect of that, that is kind of related to that is that um, he, when he started moving in and started building that place, like he really, like it, it was like, it was a new thing for it. Like it was a new opportunity for him to like, create a new path. And so he really put a lot of time and thought into that place. Like I remember he would, he would met, like he measured, he measured all his furniture and then he measured the entire place and he, and he did multiple layouts. And so, and so he would like, he's like, this is what I'm thinking. And, and he'd go in and he'd lay out like, and he's like, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do this. And then, and then, and then he'd come back and then he, I'd see him like three or four days later and he'd be like, nope, this is what I'm gonna do. You know? And it was, and it was just this whole thing and he, and he like, and he figured it out and then he, he just kept improving on it and kept making it. And then once he had his place tricked out, then he started tricking out. I don't know if you noticed in, in in the place. So so the entire front, like, like again, I, I have issues with with aspects of them them congregating. But th there are also amazing things. They all started beautifying the apartments together, mm -hmm. and I, so it really is lovely. Yeah. I mean, the the whole place feels so like all a, of that a weird commune. All yeah. of that foliage, all that foliage was all of their contributions. All of them deciding, oh, and let's let's do this and let's do. This. And then Jay brought in a whole bunch of lighting, and and he got everybody's. So if you, if you, in my in the build in our apartment building. If uh, there, there, people can use their phones to change the lights of, of the first four or five apartments. So, like, I would, wa I would be walking to at like midnight, and then all of a sudden, all the lights would change, and it was like, it was like a fireworks display. I was like, what the? This Somebody is. Oh, they'd get them flashy, like, and I'm like, oh. I'm like, that's so awesome. So, yeah, it was just really, really cool stuff like that. So, you know, yeah, it, it's so it, Jay. So Jay definitely did like, like he built a nest. You know, like, like there was a, you know, there wasn't a, a sense of like this is a place I want to make my own and imprint myself on it. So that's, that's great that you felt that. Cause you know, cause they, they definitely did spend a lot of time doing that. Yeah. Um, the, uh, Oh, there was something you mentioned that almost I had a, a thought about, but in, in, at any rate, um, uh, yeah, it, uh, it was really sweet. Um, there's, there's a long way to go, but, uh, but, but I feel, I felt like something opened in me today and I, uh, I, I don't, I don't doubt it knowing your journey with Jay and, and again, listen to the last, the last happy hour, uh, uh, to get a little bit more of a fuller feeling, but, uh, knowing our conversations, like I know that was a fucking journey, a journey through, uh, uh, some of, uh, of, you know, Jay's struggles and like, it's, it's only when somebody has resolved that no matter how it is resolved. And obviously, you know, in, in, in a perfect world, he would be, you know, swimming 40 laps and, and, and looking like, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the picture of health right now, but like, uh, it's only at the conclusion of something that you can process it. And, uh, Jay was not at the conclusion until he was. And it's like, 
uh, uh, processing what that means, processing what your brother means. And especially when he's such a creative and effervescent guy, um, I think now, and this episode even, you know, was, was something where it's like, Hey, look, let's fucking what you had with your dad today was the fucking first caper that you would have loved to tell Jay that he wasn't around for. And that's a fucking, that's an awesome arsenal that will only continue to get fucking bigger and bigger and bigger. Cause I tell you, man, Jay would have heard that shit and you could just hear his fucking <laughs> laugh right mm-hmm. now about your fucking dad mm-hmm. bringing out a paltry ass skinny fucking three key ring. Like, like Jay would have fucking died laughing at that. Like, uh, would just, like yeah, would have been better telling it than, than I was <laughs> like, like, uh, man, bullshit. No, but you know was... what I mean? Like, like Jay could fucking sell a story, yeah. man. Yeah. Well, and well, yeah, and just I mean, and, and and just the cackle, like his his, his laughter is, is infectious. You know, the thing is, is like, I, I you know, just he would he would just say even say something stupid, and he'd laugh at it, and then he'd keep laughing, and next thing you know, I'm I'm like, I'm breaking up. I'm like, dude, <laughs> you know, like that's yeah, because it was just infectious laughter. Yeah, I mean, and and that's that's a great thing, man, to think of that every time that there's a fucking hilarious moment to know that fucking that's the that's a fucking like a j laugh a, a j laugh is earned mm. you know like like that's that's a fucking that's a beautiful thought and and uh uh that that is that, that that's one that's going to live forever man how oh damn i'm so i'm so thankful uh, uh to everybody who you know is hearing my voice like in person on the stream but also to um, it was really neat seeing so much love in the chat and continues to be neat. And, and, um, if you feel the need to say condolences or whatever, then, then I will take the time to respond. But, um, but man, um, if you have it, if you're on the fence and you're like, I don't know if I should say something or not, you know what? I feel it. I already feel it. I feel it so hard. You don't even need to say it. And instead know that there'll be some other moment where this joy and connection between between us and our shared appreciation for what we're all going through can manifest itself. So I I, I will say this for fucking Brian's parents, write emails. Because I, I would love I want a fucking a war and peace fucking tome for those people because like again, they don't know this context. They don't know they don't know what he meant to people. It is up to people to let them know what 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 he meant to you. So it's like fucking three words. Jay made me laugh so hard. Fucking like just write that and and as long as there are enough fucking things like my god, I think it would mean the world to to his 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 parents to know that 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 kind of impact that it that their son had that kind of fucking impact on the planet. Mail um, at nightattack.tv M A I L. Oh, there we go. It's already in the chat. Right. If if I can uh Brian uh point out something that uh came in while you were while you were chasing that cat. Also that cat was um, not there and I definitely did like a perimeter search just to be safe. I peed out in the forest to let it know that it's mm, my territory. Okay. Good. Good for you. Uh so our friends Auntie Donna, mm. of course, uh show's coming out in a couple hours. Uh they have been on a bit of a social media like prowl, right? Why? Uh, they have been uh trying to promote their show, right? <laughs> Try it, dude. Crushing uh, it. Crushing. I get a DM not but an hour and a half ago. And uh, they say, nothing is more immediately apparent than when you guys mention us on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this makes me so very happy. This is the best news. Second best news I've gotten all day. <laughs> so, and of course, they're going to be on the show next week. Oh, that's going to uh, be They'll be, be on the show next week. So, uh, maybe, uh, again, uh, they- punch it. <laughs> They might all Punch be in the it, same baby. room as each other this time. So nice. Yeah. Oh no. Awesome. no. Yeah. They were they were in the same room for the last Auntie Donna podcast. Unless Melbourne uh, spikes again, I would presume they'd be in the same room again. And we're gonna get a hot a hot trio because they have not seen each other but for a week and a half. And then their Netflix series came out. Well, and you realize so we will, that, we will, that we will get 
We, I, the, I, 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 I would measure Brian and I's words at the, the over under is going to be at eight. Uh, uh, and I think <laughs> they will just go for the rest of the episode. Uh, yeah, which I assume uh, uh, all of which is to remind everybody that we all have homework to do uh, about what, six episodes, seven episodes long? How long? However, however long. However, however long it is. I don't give a fuck if it's 30. Yeah. You have, uh, you have, have until have next Tuesday to <laughs> <Yeah>. watch it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, man, and, look, and that shit uh, looks hilarious. God damn it. I, 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 I feel like it's not going to get better than it feels right now. Uh, is it okay if we, if we, if we uh, high five the sun? Just wrap it. Yeah. 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 Right on. Uh, shout out to thank, Mike TV. You, Mike TV man. live on Twitch. Everybody, make sure you go follow him. Hey, Mike TV live. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Thanks. This yeah. was awesome. Uh, Brian and Justin, exactly. uh, you can catch him oh doing man, happy oh hour. I'm not sure what happy hour looks like this week, but I think next week. It'll yeah. probably be back on, yeah, on track. We'll, we'll fill it up. Uh, uh, as as we've always said, uh, every happy hour is a gift. Um, uh, uh, we're working around production schedules right now, uh, but so maybe a little yeah. bit sporadic. But but uh, make sure you got your notifications. Hot men on. are working on it. Hot men are working hot on men. it. Hot men, hot men. I've emailed the hot men already. Uh, so please check that out. And then uh, Friday night Bryce is coming up. Uh, the PlayStation Five is coming in this week, and yeah. so Thursday and oh, Friday. Shit. Nice. Uh, your boy got a day one. So we'll probably nice. play around with that. So, uh, everybody, thank you, hot men. Thank you very much, hot men. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Bye.